In health news tonight, the number of children diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder has nearly doubled in the last 10 years. Better detection is playing a role, and early intervention can make a big difference for children who need help. Locally, a new kind of therapy is offering hope, and News Channel 5's Alicia Ciccoloni is here with more. Alicia, this is a very complex issue. It absolutely is, Lee. You know, and this is Autism Awareness Month, so this really does help people understand what's going on. A new study shows nearly 75% of autistic children have been bullied verbally, and half of them were ignored on purpose by other children. An autism center in Wycliffe hopes their model will help raise awareness about autism and also help families cope with the effects of this neurological disorder. Four-year-old Dominic is swinging around, enjoying time with his parents. Two, three. But this isn't playtime. Dominic is in the middle of therapy for autism. Joy and Patrick Regan found out their son was autistic when he was just over a year old. In trying to find help for him, they were looking for a different way, one that would help Dominic live as normal a life as possible. Their search led them to the Integrations Treatment Center and the Success Approach. Occupational therapy, speech language pathology, specialized psychology, and it, they, all those theories work together. It's not taking just one theory and applying it to the child. Using all of those therapies together, the success approach then focuses on helping a child speak, walk, or whatever else autism has made a challenge for them. It's based on what he needs, not what, you know, a governing body says all kids need. So it's designed for specifically him. For Dominic, it's helping him communicate. Before, his frustration had him only crying, and he couldn't make his point. He never misses. He never misses a step. He never misses a piece of information that will help him grow. The treatment is also designed to help children stand tall and believe in themselves as they grow. When they're secure in themselves and in their world, and know, you know, we like say where their body stops and the world begins, you know, they have that ability then to come to a place of being able to stand up for themselves. And certainly after you just heard about that study about bullying with autism, that is another key to combat the bullying. The child isn't the only one that actually learns the success approach. Anyone who has constant contact with the child will learn it as well. So they are never without support. Live, Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5.